The Pregnant Care Show is proudly brought to you by Phenomenal Water. Sunlight two in one. Don't let your gut. Staying active during pregnancy is not always a smooth journey. It's sometimes difficult to work out and opt for healthy choices. Maintaining healthy pregnancy has many benefits. A new study finds that weight gain during pregnancy impacts a child's cardiometabolic health later in life. Most exercises are safe during pregnancy and when you do it with caution as well and approved by your doctor. Most exercises are safe to perform during the journey of pregnancy. Make sure you do them with caution. Do them less vigorously and do not overdo it. And also, most importantly, make sure it's approved by your doctor. On today's episode, we will be looking at what exercise and fitness is in pregnancy. The show is The Pregnant Care Show and my name is Dede. The show is brought to you by Vena Mineral Drinking Water and Dole Yogurt. So on today's episode, we have our ever fitness coach, Madam Magna, with us for today. She's been here before and today she's here as well to take us through today's episode. You are welcome, Madam Magna. Thank you so much, Dede. Okay, we are grateful for you having to come back on our show again. That means we love your work. Thank you. So we'll be calling you more often. Thank you so much. Okay. So today's episode, we'll be looking at exercise and keeping fit in pregnancy. We want um, our pregnant women to know that it is still possible to exercise during the period of pregnancy, but then we'd want to give them man, more knowledge on what to do and how they can go about keeping fit and exercise during pregnancy. So we want to know what um, keeping fit or exercise is in pregnancy. So it's very simple. Um, in, in pregnancy, the pregnant body needs to move. It's very important for you to move because we all know that um, when a woman is pregnant, the joints, the, the tissues, they all, some of them enlarge, some of them move out of the original place, some of them become weaker, some of them expand. Right. And so uh, movement is what will make you feel greased. You know, okay. like in exercise, um, we call it motion is lotion. Like the more you move, the more you feel like your joints are connected together. Yes. Yeah, in simple terms. So exercise is basically just movement um, according to a set time, time that you have set, set. or a period that you have set. Okay. What are some of the exercises a pregnant woman is allowed to do? Since oh, you're a um, fitness trainer. Yeah, there's, there's a, a whole oh, variety. I know that if, if people think that probably just um, going for walks uh, is, is all that a pregnant woman can do, but there's so much, much there's so much that a pregnant woman can do. For example, squats are very safe. No, when you squat, your baby will not pop out. <laughs> a lot of floor exercises, a lot of yoga, a lot of pilates, a lot of stretching, going for walks, Bricks even walking. jogging. But jogging is only for those who were very active. active and confident before, and they were doing it before, prior to pregnancy, and it is a safe pregnancy. Okay. For instance, planking. You know, when you plank, it's supposed to build your core, oh. and your baby is already inside, inside your me. core. And the muscles of the core are already stretching okay. so you don't need to exert that that pressure, pressure you don't need that pressure on the core already it's already under a lot of pressure right it is expanding it's opening for a baby to be inside so you don't need that pressure but you outside all the exercises that are unsafe like planks like lifting very heavy like weights up. like um, um explosive exercises like jumping onto stages sit ups yeah like jump you know you jump mm. and then you land that on the stage safe. all those things are not safe for pregnancy, pregnancy. for so obvious reasons, reasons. yeah okay. Exercise during pregnancy make your baby active either in the womb or when baby comes out. Does it have that happy effect on the baby both in and out? Um, I cannot say because it has not been proven that, you know, the mother exercising will um, literally translate to the baby being mm -hmm. active or happy. But what happens is that when the mother is active, it helps the mother herself to go through the period or the season of pregnancy 
sort of in a better way than one who Has is, doesn't move much. All. Yeah. How much exercise does a pregnant woman need maybe during a week? Because I know a, a maximum of three to four exercising days a week is fine. Mm -hmm. But we want to be certain. How much exercise do a pregnant woman need? Um, taking the regular pregnant woman who wasn't active Steve. before her pregnancy, three times a week is fine. Okay. And you can vary the exercises. For instance, maybe Monday you can go for a walk. Tuesday, you can decide to stretch on your exercise mat and then maybe Thursday or Friday, no, Monday, Wednesday, because mm. you need breaks between exercise, active, active exercises. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So on Friday, you can decide to do body weight exercises like squatting, like um, the you know yoga, pilates, those ones that I was talking about. Yeah. So, so how many minutes should one train? So we have a limited um, time. Yeah, um, there's nothing like a limited That's time. It is per person, and it's also relative to the the trimester, trimester you're you are in. Because hmm. second trimester, we know that a lot of people are very active. active. Uh, late third trimester you're literally not moving at, at all. all so um and it also depends on the person so if you have been consistent in the exercise you realize that you are able to do more as you move, move on. on yeah when you start it might be difficult but as the time goes on you realize that you're able to do 40 minutes of what you were doing 15 minutes of before you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's person specific you can't say that but averagely any time between 15 to 30 minutes is good so could house choice activity replace exercise in pregnancy? Maybe I'm pregnant, mm -hmm. I have a lot to do in the house, I need mm -hmm. to do cleaning, cook and all those things. Could I say, okay, fine, I mean, I'm already doing all these things, so let me replace that with uh -huh. exercise. What do um, you say? You can, no, no, um, we, we don't, exercise by definition is not house choice. choice. That is physical activity, like you're physically active. But that is not exercise. That's why I said exercise is, you know, bound by time, time, you know, bound by consistency. So if, for instance, you want to clean the house, but you can make cleaning the house your exercise, but it is not in definition exercise. So if you decide that you want your home chores to be your exercise, then it should be bound by, by time. time. So you, you can tell yourself, challenge yourself, okay, I'm going to do all the, the cleaning and the mopping, the washing dishes, the, the cleaning the windows in 15 minutes. So then now it has become exercise That's because you. You, have, you have bounded yourself by a certain time. So you would want to finish maybe in 10 minutes. Oh, I still have five minutes. And then you can go over it again. All the ones that you want to go over, mm -hmm. you can go over it. Now, now it has become two tens. Yes. So now it's bound by time and repetitions. You get what I mean? So would you encourage that? A pregnant woman um, goes for a professional trainer for exercise or probably she can just, okay, so let me just exercise. Let me be exercising at home because I know the few ones I could do. Is yeah. there anything bad in either of them? Like you said, today, let me just exercise. Let me do the few ones I do. Know. Uh -huh. So there are the few ones that are popular, like going for walks. Even your, your healthcare giver will advise you, like go for walks, so stay active. Hey, let your husband walk with you and all those things. Run after your children. You know, those few Two things months. they will advise you to do. So it is very okay to exercise during pregnancy just make sure or find the one that your body can tolerate but then remember do not do vigorous exercises also remember it is not every pregnant woman that can exercise first your doctor will need to approve so if you have issues with your service if you have had premature deliveries or labor before if you had had sequence of um, cesarean sessions or surgeries before if probably you have an issue with your placenta location and all others your doctors will let you know then such a person you cannot exercise. So do not force it. Maybe after delivery, you have your own turn of exercise. We'll go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll find out more on fitness in pregnancy and we'll hit the streets as well. This advert is FDA approved. Introducing new Sunlight 2-in-1. It gives you burst, after burst, after burst. 
of long-lasting freshness. New Sunlight 2-in-1 for burst after burst of long-lasting freshness. Mommy is coming! Mommy is coming! Have you cleaned the kitchen? Done all the chores? Yes, yes ma. ma. Then it's time for... Doleo, doleo got, doleo, doleo got. Everybody, grab your leg, it's delicious, creamy and refreshing too. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome back. If you just joined us, it's still the pregnant care show brought to you by Vena Mineral Drinking Water and Dole Yogurt. So Vena has a low amount of sodium, which is good for our blood pressure. It helps to maintain the blood pressure. It also helps us in our muscle activities. As we are talking about exercise, water also helps to keep us hydrated during the period of exercise. It helps to reduce the risk of constipation and keeps you hydrated anytime you exercise. So let's say water actually goes with exercise. So as you excrete, you replace. So let's try and take in more water and especially Vena Mineral Drinking Water. So let's hit the street to find out what our viewers have for us on today's episode. Your family or buyer, now me pensé me be sad doctor say, so when you ma, eh, so we exercise ya na. Your family sala, me kasa free dance ma market. Enti exercise de eh ya de pa, eh se de biya eh ni exercise. Ene ma be bre eh ko market eh di di sa eh basi ya na ya beda. Si de biya ma eh ya rekitin kitin kitin kitin. Enti eh yes eh. Oba na o di di po e bo fo amen di di biu. Oba na wa ko work akra oba na wa be po mi lo bi. Anom. E man so amonye ma e se monye exercise pa e boa. E nye se afi na me ko mi de e ko twa mi ya kola no e nye de. Wa chim na wo. Exercise na o be ye no e no na e be boa. Na wa wa chim na wa wo. E nye afi na e ko twa mi enti na o te ho na o de bibia na wo di. Bibiana Woody, Uncle Walk, Unyashi, and now Bewana could chow. Now, but now why a poofu be, and yet the entire exercise. Fine. My name is Abba Isawa Sam, and I want to find out if jogging is good for a pregnant woman. If not, which exercises would be recommended for a pregnant woman? The patron master says, Oh, yes, exercise now. Who's on diarrhea? Who's on your case? Say, be woman now. Those are some questions and comments from our viewers on the streets, and Auntie Mabna will help us get a better understanding to them. So, Auntie Mabna, if you have want to know what is the fun in, in exercising as a pregnant woman, she feels maybe there's no fun. So she wants to know what is the fun so that maybe she can apply for a class or something. Um, it's it's more than fun. That's what I can say because um, a, pre a pregnant woman knows the creases and the hinges and the sockets that feel strained and tired and pained and when you ex every time you exercise there's this euphoria you know there's this happy feeling there's this accomplishment that a pregnant woman needs you know you need you need that distraction first of all from all that is happening in your body and you need that accomplishment feeling you know because um, it's 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 a whole lot to be pregnant. Apart from just the weight of it, oh, okay. it's a, it's a, it's you know a whole lot. So this is a general question. Uh, our viewer, she is saying that anytime she exercises, she's been doing it consistently. And then when she stops, she gains um, so much weight. So what's the relation? Um, there's a there's a funny relation there. See, so when you start exercising, your body your body changes. Okay. No. For most people, the goal is to have less body fat percentage and more muscle percentage. So that is what you're working towards. 
So as the muscle, muscles feed on food, food. okay, so the, if, well, as you're eating all the wholesome foods, it is feeding the muscles. Um, and so when you, especially those who do body weight exercises or lift a little weight, when you do it consistently over time, your body adjusts to the food you're feeding the muscles. Muscles grow, fat decreases. Okay. So as you stop exercising, now the muscle still needs it takes a while for it to register that you're not doing it as you were before you will still continue eating like you were whilst you were exercising so but now the muscles are not working yeah. anymore so now it starts storing it so now your caloric intake goes mm -hmm. to become higher than how much you're burning so that's mm -hmm. what happens so over time it stores and becomes fat again. again. So then there's more like a reverse. So that's what happens to a lot of people. So it's not like you stop exercising and you, you're gaining weight. It's just you're, you're causing it. Then we'll not yeah. exercise again. So that's <laughs> well, we all know the benefits of, of exercise. exercise anyway. So, <laughs> so our last viewer said, um, when can she return to exercise after she's delivered? Probably maybe she has had a normal vagina delivery or she has had a, a six section. Because, mm -hmm. you know, now Ghana or now the world, everybody wants to keep fit, especially yeah, the women on the flat tummy and all those things. So yes. when can she resume exercise after delivery? This one is generally, um, you should be able to, especially if you had a cesarean session, session. then your doctor should give you the pass. Okay. After your six weeks in Ghana, mostly after a six weeks um, visit, if um, there are no complications whatsoever, then you would want to return to exercise gradually. That's what you're supposed to do gradually. So as you start doing your normal home activities, you know, cooking, lifting, all those things, it means that you are ready to exercise. Nice. And um, you can start exercise as early as two weeks after birth or as late or as early as six months after birth. And the, the good thing about exercise is when you're not able to get enough sleep, the exercise will help you, it will knock yes. you off. Yes, the little deep sleep you get, it will make you feel better about yourself. And exercise is so good. I like people only relate it to losing weight, but it's so much bigger than losing weight. It helps you mentally. So resuming exercise after birth or delivery, either CS or normal vagina delivery, it's individual specific. So mm -hmm. if you think your body can tolerate it, fine, you go for it. If it can't, you wait till you are able to tolerate, then you do your kind of exercise. I also know that exercise during the last trimester of pregnancy is very helpful, mm -hmm. especially when you are going for a normal vagina delivery. It helps your pelvis to open up, it works on your muscles, you get enough energy and all those things so that you are able mm -hmm. to push, maybe it's able to, your, your pelvis is able to accommodate baby into it and all mm -hmm. that so try and do the exercises you can tolerate and you can do let's go for a short commercial break when we come back auntie mab now will take us through some few exercises a pregnant woman can do this advert is fda approved Introducing new Sunlight 2-in-1. It gives you burst, after burst, after burst of long-lasting freshness. New Sunlight 2-in-1 for burst, after burst of long-lasting freshness. Clean the kitchen, done all the chores. Yes, yes ma. Then it's time for Doleo, Doleo got, Doleo, Doleo got. Everybody, grab your leg. It's delicious, creamy, and refreshing too. Mommies love it, and dads enjoy it, and the children, they love it. Yeah. Wake up, it's Doleo got. This advert is FDA approved.
So it's time for some physical exercise, and Auntie Abina will be taking us through some of the pregnancy exercises you would need to do if you wish to do one. So Auntie Abina, what do you have for us today? I have so much for us today, but I would just let us do three very important exercises okay, yes. for a pregnant woman. And you should join me. Sure, right? I'm in my spot Yeah, somewhere. you know. So I will start first start off with the exercise ball. Um, I'm going to sit on the exercise ball, especially for pregnant women. It helps you, especially for um, pelvic um, strength. So we call it the pelvic tilt. Okay. So you're going to um, sort of push your pelvis, your pubic back and then forward. So oh, back okay. and, and forward. forward. You notice that my legs are not here. They Too are in front the and they, they, my knees are at a 90 degree angle. Good job. So just forward, back, and back. forward, back, side, side, side. This is very good for preparation Towards, towards delivery. delivery. So mostly yes. during your third trimester, you yes, can yes. do this. And then you also go in a circular yeah. motion. So as you move in a circular motion with the pubic, it strengthens the whole um, birth canal, canal area. Yes, it strengthens it for easy delivery. delivery. Yes, good job. Thank you very much. Welcome. And always make sure you're sitting on it straight. Your back is straight. Okay. Roll your shoulders back so your chest is out. out. You're not slouching on the thing. Already, your body is moving forward. So you want to bring it back. Sit tall. This alone is training your yep. spine, right? Yeah. So that is one very important exercise. And you can do this when you're sitting watching your TV, when oh, you're relaxing okay. in front of your bed. It's great. And I want to do one for those who get muscle cramps hmm. during pregnancy. pregnancy. Very important. You can also do this by sitting at the edge of your bed or at the edge of your sofa or any good chair that makes makes you sit tall. Okay? So you're going to just lift your heels. Let me turn to the side so you will see. You're going to lift your heels and down. Oh, okay. Lift, down. That's all. This is going to strengthen or activate right behind your leg here. That is where most of the muscle cramps happen. Happening. Yes. So it's, very, it's a very good trick that helps. As soon as, even when you're sleeping and you, you, you can feel it when it's coming, you get up, roll quickly. out of the bed quickly, sit at the edge of the bed and, and start, start doing it. Up. Start doing it. But it's safe, you know, prevention is better than cure. Yeah. So when, before you go to bed, sit there, do about 20 and oh, then sleep. When you wake sleep. up in the morning, as soon as, as well. you roll out, do it before you get up to do your activities. It will help prevent all, all the muscles. In fact, you might not even get a single one of the painful the pregnancy. muscle cramps. Yes. Now, the next one, this one, you have to do it with me. Okay. Here you go. Yeah. Hey, you're coordinating with my kettlebell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you don't necessarily need weights, but weights are good. It helps to, the exercise to be, you know, intense, a little more challenging. So, we're going to, this is a kettlebell. We're going to grab it. You can use your handbag. You can use, you know, anything that's a little bit, has a little bit of weight. Wait. Lean back like that and then lift and down. So you notice that we go up. Let's do it together. Okay. There and down. The weight is supposed to be close to your body. So here and down. So you ask your hands go up above your head it elevates your heartbeat so that alone is cardio for you for you okay you see? up and you notice that i'm breathing out loud very important to breathe out loud for your muscles to feel relaxed good job up and down if you want to do it without weight it's just up so you keep doing it with the weight whilst i do it without the weight up that's it that's all and now let us do one more exercise you can put your kettlebell on the side. Bring your wrist down if your wrists are feeling okay. If you have sensitive wrists, come on your elbows. You stay on your wrist. Okay, okay. Let's do a variation. When this one is Quite good for up. yes, just open your knees up. Yes, a bit more. Keep your spine straight. This is good when you have waist pains and back tightness and all those things. Just lengthen your arm and back. The opposite side. Good job. Keep your eyes on the ground. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Breathe in, breathe out. Then you lift the leg and back. Lift the leg, lengthen it, but drop it at the yeah. toe. Okay. Yes. Yes, your eyes are on the ground, your waist is facing the floor. You're not going to be turning your waist to the side, no. Everything is facing the floor. Again, if your knees are feeling sensitive, please put a pillow under your knees. And now, as you graduate in this one, you can do it arm and leg, leg. together. So your opposite arm to opposite, opposite leg. leg. So here we go. This is a great, great exercise for any pregnant, very safe. Remember, a pregnant woman cannot lift the leg so, so high. high. So you have to just point your toe down, keep the toe down and back. And you should be able to do, start with just five each side. And then as you progress, you'll be able to do 10 each okay. side. Yes, 10 each side three times in a whole exercise is good enough. So these three excel four exercises are just very simple. So apart from walking, you know, these ones will also help relieve some of the tension in the body that we feel. Yeah. So this are some exercises you can do during pregnancy. I think mm -hmm. I really love it. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to do it from now till I get pregnant and after pregnancy. <laughs> and naturally, I need to see you for more of this exercise. I'm already oh, sweating. I know, I know. It seems like nothing, but it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Yes. It's a lot. I'll come for more tutorials as you. well. So viewers, <laughs> this was our exercise session and it's very good for the body. I felt that a lot, you know, has been taken and added to my body. So try this at home and it's safe for you anytime. Then as you know, exercise goes with water. Yes. So we have some Venna Mineral drinking water. Great. Yeah, thank, you. You take, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So as I have sweat and then I need to replace or hydrate, I'll just take in some Venna Mineral drinking water to, you know, get back my lost water. Mm. Venna mineral drinking water is, is one of the best water on the market. It has low amount of sodium, which is good for our blood pressure, maintaining it. It's also good for our muscles and all that and keeps you hydrated as and when. This advert is FDA approved. Introducing new sunlight two in one. It gives you burst, after burst, after burst of long lasting freshness. New sunlight two in one for burst after burst of long lasting freshness. Something happen if a viewer or a client wants to seek your professional advice, where can we find you on any of the social media handles or anyway? I am very active on Instagram, so you please type Fitvolution with Marbana or just Fitvolution. Fit Evolution is F I T V O L U T I O N. F I T V O L U T I O N. You will find me there. As soon as you type Fit Evolution and Marbana shows up with it, that's me. So just type in Fit Evolution and then you get Auntie Marbana. So our tip for this week is exercise during pregnancy is safe and okay, but it is not every pregnant woman that should exercise. So speak or discuss with your doctor before you decide to. So that was our tip for this week's episode. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you have any discussion you want to share with us, can you leave them on all our social media platform and keep subscribing to our YouTube channel at The Pregnant Care Show and we would attend to them ASAP. Thank you for watching today's episode. See you next week.